is absolutely this evidence is invaluable it's it's very 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 important evidence we are conducting uh, an investigation into war crimes in gaza perpetrated by israel and, and that is a very labored, forensic, painstaking process. It's not just a case of taking documents and saying, well, this is what this means and this is what that means, but building a picture from lots of little pieces of a jigsaw. If you're using uh, phosphorus on a densely populated area, I would argue that that's almost impossible to do. So that one of the significant characteristics about Gaza is that we've heard that um, Gaza is one of the most densely populated places on planet Earth. So here we have a very interesting photograph of white phosphorus being used, what appears to be a white phosphorus cloud, with um, parts of it raining down on what looks to me like a very densely populated area. And so you, you can build a timeline from this of potentially, I mean, I'm not saying that this is the timeline, but this is the way the investigation will work. We will be able to see the source of white phosphorus, the perpetrators using white phosphorus in these pictures here, potentially. We will, we will build a timeline. So this was on the 9th of October. And then we have evidence of white phosphorus being used. Now, I'm not sure if these munitions result in this kind of explosion. And this is something for a forensic expert to give me advice about um, as part of our investigation. And then you have, and you have very clear evidence that this is being used in urban areas. So you have that already. Yeah, after two days, you see. Yeah, nine, on the eleventh. Yeah, eleventh. Yeah. And then, and then you have, and, and these dates are various different dates, but you have this one on the 9th of October. The evidence that you're supplying to me is crucial, very important. We will add that as part of the jigsaw puzzle to see the full picture, and we will use that in a number of ways. Uh, either we will use it to provide to Scotland Yard here in the United Kingdom. We'll use it to provide to the International Criminal Court. Um, or we will prepare independent case files uh, to prepare to give to law enforcement agencies across the world so that they can continue carry out investigations and uh, potentially prosecute the individuals that are responsible for this action if it violates international law. And there's one other thing that's really important. Part of the investigation that we are carrying out, which this will help with, is <clears throat> it, I, I think it's quite clear now by now that Israel is carrying out acts where there is, regardless of whether you think it's a war crime or not, there's a significant risk of a war crime. And so weapons uh, uh, manufacturers and suppliers and states that supply weapons to Israel have a very serious obligation in international law to ensure that when they supply weapons to Israel, they are not supplying weapons to a state that is likely to use those weapons in uh, a criminal act. And so part of my investigation will also go backwards in this situation. And what I mean by that is that I'm very interested to know the source of these weapons, where they were made, who they were made by, when Israel received them, when this, who, which companies provided them, which company directors were in control of the companies when these were supplied to Israel. And that's really important because there's a criminal liability for those individuals and those companies. Uh, as a first step, are you planning to include these evidences to Scotland Yard's investigation? No, we, we, I mean, the answer to this question is absolutely. This evidence is invaluable. It's, it's very, very, very important evidence. And we, we will analyze the material that you provide us with our experts. And it, it's almost certain that it's going to um, form part of our war crimes investigation. So this material is phenomenal. It's amazing that you've got it. It shows the importance of uh, journalists doing their job independently and properly. And um, it's, it's going to be very, a very valuable piece of our uh, investigation. Worries me is that the International Criminal Court doesn't do what it's supposed to do and what it did for the Ukraine with respect to Israeli, alleged Israeli war crimes in Gaza. What that means for me is that the International Criminal Court will become defunct, quite frankly. If it doesn't do what it's supposed to do in a country like Israel and Palestine, when it's very clear that the United States 
The United Kingdom and Europe are allies of Israel, supporting Israel's action to some degree. Then the ICC effectively becomes an imperialistic tool of these Western states. And it's not designed to be that. What the ICC is designed to be is to be an independent arbitrator that acts without fear or favour to hold war criminals accountable. From my view, if it fails to hold Israelis accountable for war crimes in that region for this current conflict, then it becomes an irrelevance. So what's important about these photographs is that you have the journalist that took the photograph and the dates of them, and that's really important evidence. And this, is, this, is, this, this work is really important because what it'll help me do is it'll help me build a picture in our timeline of events that will help me put where certain events happened very important. And this, this is also one of the allegations that we are looking at, which is that not only did Israel target what they said was military personnel, but they targeted the food infrastructure. So here you have the Al Nusrat bakery, which is bombed. And, and that's really important because that shows that Israel are targeting um, items and um, targets that are important to civilian life. And, and that's a war crime. To, to do that. Israel is obliged to dis distinguish between civilian and military targets and one of the ways that you distinguish uh, civilian targets is the Geneva Red Cross on them, like this. I think what we will do is we will give the material that you provided to us, um, which are these photographs, plus this book, to Scotland Yard for them to consider as well as part of their investigation.